Less than 24 hours after their ordeal, some of the passengers from U.S. Air Flight 1549 headed back to the airport to complete their trip to North Carolina. Our Roger Clark caught up with them at LaGuardia and joins us now with the very latest. Roger. Yeah, you know, Roma, when something like this happens, you almost kind of ask yourself, if this happened to me, would I want to go on a plane the next day? Uh, there definitely were people who just wanted to either get home or get to where they needed to go in North Carolina. And uh, they were here at LaGuardia Airport today. We got to hear some of the incredible stories of how uh, they were rescued, uh, the thoughts that were going through their head as the plane was going down, and uh, a variety of uh, different, uh, you know, per perspectives on this. Uh, all uh, people telling us about uh, what was going on inside the plane, uh, the praying, uh, that there wasn't a lot of screaming, that it was actually very quiet as the plane was going down, and the fact that uh, the captain did such a great job, according to everybody, uh, of landing that plane, that the crew was helpful, that all the people who were great and came to rescue were helpful. Uh, and that's all we've been hearing, really, accolades from uh, passengers uh, who are on this plane, who, uh, of course, uh, a little bit on the nervous side about the idea of going back on a plane again today. Well, there'll, there'll be a little anxiety, and I, I think, uh, you know, once I get past the Hudson, I, I think I'll be fine. And, uh, you know, I, I fly a lot for uh, a living, and, uh, I, you know, might have to travel, and that's, that's what you do. I mean, I figured this is the golden BB. I mean, I, uh, if I survive this one, I, uh, it'll never happen again. I don't want to hear any bumps. <laughs> it was like a thud, and I don't want to hear the thud. And that woman uh, also saying the same thing. Uh, she's a buyer for a department store down in North Carolina. She travels for a living for the most part. Uh, she flies, and uh, that is what she needs to do. And she said uh, she was able to just uh, get back on the plane today, go back and do her thing, and she said she will fly again. So uh, that is uh, the majority of the people, of course, uh, at the airport uh, we spoke with uh, seem to be pretty confident about the idea uh, and also uh, have their confidence in the, the crew of the plane that things will go well. They are on their way back to North Carolina after just uh, unbelievable experience here in New York. And that's a story from here at LaGuardia Airport. I'm Roger Clark. Romo, let's head back to you in the studio. All right, Roger, thank you. Finishing the journey they started yesterday. Many reunited with family and friends when they landed in Charlotte, North Carolina today. Red Cross grief counselors were also on hand to greet the passengers to help them cope with the traumatic experience. Our Roger Clark had the chance to speak with some of them too before they left LaGuardia Airport. Craig Black was finally on his way home to North Carolina Friday morning after his trip Thursday was abruptly halted by an emergency landing in the Hudson River. I began to pray and, uh, you know, I figured either I wasn't going to walk away or that I would. And, and if I wasn't going to walk away, I figured it would be awfully quick and so I wouldn't feel it. But amazingly, he and everyone else on the plane survived. Black admitted there would be a little anxiety once he was back in the air again. I think... Uh, you know, once I get past the Hudson, uh, I think I'll be fine. U.S. Airways Flight 1549 passengers like Bill Wiley had only good things to say about the way pilot Chesley Sullenberger handled what could have been a tragic situation. He feathered that plane right in and laid it on the water right before stall. If he had done any other, uh, otherwise, probably people would have been killed with the temperature of that water. He's, he's a hero. Passenger Nick Gamash talked about the moment he realized he was still alive. As soon as we like landed or like we hit the water and I just kind of like looked up and you now there's no fire and the plane was in one piece. It was just like, wow, okay. And then, you know, everyone started making their way towards the exits. David Sontag had a sense of humor about it when asked if he was worried about his flight home. No, I mean, especially since they gave me a, an aisle seat in the, in, the, in the exit row. And Laurie Crane was of course hoping for a much smoother flight this time around. I don't want to hear any bumps. <laughs> it was like a thud, and I don't want to hear the thud. All the passengers we talked with said the evacuation from the plane was orderly, and were thankful for the quick work of rescuers at the scene. As for the pilot, one passenger said he's an angel. In Queens, Roger Clark, New York One.